Lakshmi Prasanna, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Welcome to the lecture session of image processing. In this session, uh, we will see some example problems related to the concepts like transformations and bit planes. So, some topics related to transformation that is gray level transformation and bit planes are discussed in the previous sessions. So, recalling that concepts, we are going to solve some simple examples. So, let us consider one example. So, given an image of size 3 by 3, that means here this is the given image and its size is of 3 by 3. So, here 3 by 3 represents this image is having 3 rows and 3 columns and the image is represented as f of m by n. And what we have to find here, we have to determine the output image. So, input image is represented as f of m comma n and let us consider the image what we are calculating is the output image that is g of m comma n. So, here it is given some uh, transfer function is given here g of m comma n is equal to c log 1 plus f of m comma n base 10. So, here using logarithmic transformation by choosing c as so, here what is the value of c we have to consider two cases of c is given. In one case we have to consider c value as 1. In another case we have to consider c value as l by log 1 plus l base 10. So, here l represents gray level. We will see how we are going to calculate the value of c by considering this. L. So, what is L here means L represents gray level. So, this is the given image. In this given image, we have the maximum gray level as 255. So, in this example, we will consider the value of L as 255. After substituting here, we are going to get the value of C and that C will be replaced here in order to get the new value of G of m comma n. So, here from this example whatever they have given in this uh, we will consider here this pixel as it is f of m comma n we can write this as f of 1 comma 1 and this is f of 1 comma 2 and this value is f of 1 comma 3 and uh, here this is a second row. So, it is f of 2 comma 1 f of 2 comma 2 and this value is f of 2 comma 3 and here f of 3 comma 1 f of 3 comma 2 and this is f of 3 comma 3. So, these are the values we have to consider and we have to place here in order to find the new values of the output image g of m comma m. So, let us do this problem initially let us consider the first case that is c is equal to 1 that is. So, g of m comma n we have to find by considering this equation and here value of c is given. So, in the matrix whatever I have written f of m comma 1, f of uh, 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2 all these values here we have written separately from that matrix only. Now, when we consider c is equal to 1, how to find the new value of the output image? So, let us consider here g of m comma n means, for example, so g of m comma n image also will be in terms of g of 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, g of 1 comma 3, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3 and this is 3 comma 1, 3 comma 2 and this is g of 3 comma 3. So, all these are the values we have to find in the output image. So, now let us find g of 1 comma 1 when c value is equal to 1. So, g of 1 comma 1 is equal to. So, here initially c value is 1. So, let us consider here 1 
log base 10 1 plus f of 1 comma 1. Why? Because here m comma n and here also m comma n. Here we have considered 1 and 1. So, here also we have to consider 1 and 1. So, here the value of f of 1 comma 1 is 128. Here we have to replace 1 log base 10 1 plus f of 1 comma 1 is 128. So, if we simplify this, we are going to get g of 1 comma 1 value as 3. And next value is g of 1 comma 2. Similarly, uh, if you simplify, in this case c is 1 log base 10 1 plus f of m comma n is here 1 comma 2. So, from the image also we have to consider the same values. So, if we replace the value, we will get 1 log base 10 1 plus f of 1 comma 2 is 2, 12. So, the value g of 1 comma 2 we will get as 3 and next value is g of 1 comma 3. So, g of 1 comma 3. So, simplify in the same way 1 log base 10 1 plus f of m comma n is f of 1 comma 3. So, its value is 255. So, if we simplify this, we will get g of 1 comma 3 value as 3. And next value is g of 2 comma 1. So, to find g of 2 comma 1, substitute here 1 log base 10 1 plus m comma n in this case is 2 comma 1. So, 2 comma 1 value is 54. So, if we simplify this, uh, we will get g of 2 comma 1 as 2. So, after this g of 2 comma 1, next we have to find g of 2 comma 2. Okay. So, here to find g of 2 comma 2, same. We have to calculate 1 log base 10 1 plus f of 2 comma 2 value is 62. So, its value will be equal to 2. And next is g of 2 comma 3. g of 2 comma 3. So, in the same way, 1 log base 10, 1 plus f of m comma n. m comma n is here uh, 2 comma 2. Sorry, 2 comma 3. Its value is 124. So, we will get the new value of g of 2 comma 3 as 3 and next g of 3 comma 1. So, similarly, if we calculate, we have to consider here 1 log base 10 1 plus. So, here 3 comma 1 f of 3 comma 1 is 140. So, we will get the value 3. And the next value is g of 3 comma 2. So, if we simplify 1 plus log base 10, 1 plus 3 comma 2, f of 3 comma 2 is 152. So, its value will be equal to 3. And the last value is g of 3 comma 3, which is equal to 1 plus log base 10, 1 plus f of m comma n here is 3 comma 3 that value is 156. So, the new value what we are getting is here 3. So, whatever the uh, values we have calculated for c is equal to 1 that is g of m comma n. Okay. So, here it is g of 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, and 1 comma 3, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2 and g of 2 comma 3 and here 3 comma 1, g of 3 comma 2, 
जीरो थ्री कम थ्री सो वट एवर द वैल्यूज वी हेव कैलकुलेटेड वी हेव टू रीप्लेस हियर इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द आउटपुट इमेज जी ऑफ एम कम एन पर सी वैल्यू वन सो हियर वन कम वन इज थ्री टू वन कम टू इज थ्री एंड वन कम थ्री इज थ्री वॉट वी हेव कैलकुलेटेड इन द प्रीवियस लाइफ सो टू कम वन वैल्यू इज टू टू कम टू इज टू एंड टू कम थ्री इज थ्री एंड हियर थ्री कम वन थ्री 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 सो दिस इज द आउटपुट इमेज जी ऑफ एम कम एन फॉर द वैल्यू सी इज इक्वल टू वन सो फॉर द सेम इनपुट in the second case so this is the entire image this is the entire calculation what we did and this is the output image what we have calculated now for the same function when the value of c is equal to l by log base 10 1 plus l considering this c value again we have to find the new values of g of m comma n so here From the matrix, I told the maximum value is two fifty five. That is, L value is considered as two fifty five. So here, two fifty five by log base ten one plus two fifty five. So if we simplify this, we will get the value of C. So here, C value we are going to get approximately one zero six. So considering now C value as one zero six, we have to find. Uh, the value so in the output image g of m comma n same as the previous case so first g of 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 so like this all the values we need to calculate so 1 comma 1 means if you see this example c here the value of c what we got is 106 log base 10 1 plus f of m comma n in this case m comma n is 1 comma 1 so here its value is 128 so if we simplify uh, we are going to get the value 224 so in the same way g of 1 comma 2 should be calculated so here 106 log base 10 1 plus f of m comma n so here m comma n is 1 comma 2 so f of 1 comma 2 is 2 12 Okay, so if we simplify, we are going to get the value two forty seven. So like this, we have to calculate for g of one com one comma three, two comma one, two comma two, two comma three, and similarly, three comma one, three comma two, and g of three comma three. So all these values need to be calculated, and by using this. procedure if we calculate for all these we are going to get the new values like g of m comma n as g of 1 comma 1 its value is 224 247 256 and next one 85 191 so this is the output image we are going to get for this particular c value so if we do the entire calculation so i have done here the entire calculation for you and this is the output image g of m comma n for this value of c so this is how we have to perform the transformation on the given image and we have to calculate the output image now let us see one simple example related to bit plane so compute the bit plane for the given image and the image is of 8 bit in size it is represented as f of m comma n and here uh, the first value here uh, is 255 138 30 65121081831111 and 85 so in order to compute bit plane first we have to find the binary values for all these 
pixels. So if we consider 255, we need to find the binary value of this 255 and that binary value should be represented in the size of 8 bit. So here this 255 should be converted into binary 2 1s, 2, 2 twos, 4, 2 7s, 14. So here 127 and again 2 6, 12, 2 3 6, reminder is 1, 2 3 6, 2 1s, 2, reminder is 1, 2 1s, 2, 2 5s, 10, 1, 2 7s, 14, 2 3, 6 and the reminder is 1, 2 1s, 2, reminder is 1. So this is the binary value and it should be of 8 bit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So like this, the value for 255 binary value is calculated and its size is of 8 bit. Similarly, using this procedure, we need to calculate the binary value for 138, 30, 65, 12, 201, 183, 111 and 85. So here are all the binary values calculated for the given values by using this procedure. If you apply this procedure, if you are not going to get in 8 bit size, we need to insert some zeros uh, across MSB so that it will become 8 bit. So all these are the binary values. After calculating the binary values of all these, next we need to place all these uh, binary values in place of each value. So here we can see, so this is the given problem. We have calculated all the binary values for all these values and the binary value of 255 is this value, all ones. And 138 is this value and 30 is this value. So wherever the value is available after converting into binary, we have placed it in the same place. And this is what we have to consider in order to represent bit plane. So in this, here this first bit is LSB, which represents bit plane 0. So generally this value we are going to consider to go for bit plane 0, this is for 1, bit plane 2, similarly this is for bit plane 7. And here if we consider this, here this is for bit plane 0, bit plane 1, bit plane 2, similarly bit plane 7, so on up to bit plane 7. So here bit plane 0, 1, 2 and so on up to 7. So LSB represents bit plane 0 and MSB represents bit plane 7. So after doing all this, we have to write individually each and every bit plane. So MSB value first one is bit plane 7. We have to consider the seventh bit of all and we have to write here. So if we consider the seventh bit is 1, 0, 1. So we have to place 1, 0, 1. And here in this next column, Bit plane 7 is 1, 0, 0. That's why here 1, 0, 0 is written. In this column, bit plane 7 is 0, 1, 0. So that's why 0, 1, 0 is written. I'm coming to the bit plane 6. So before 7, we will have 6 here. Now we have to consider all the columns to represent bit plane 6. So here in bit plane 6 we have 1 1 0. So it is written as 1 1 0. In the second row 0 0 1. So 0 0 1 is written. And in the third row we have 0 1 1. So we have written 0 1 1. Next after bit plane 6 similarly we have to write for bit plane 7. Sorry 5. So in this bit plane 5 this is what bit plane 5. Okay. So we have to consider all these columns and we have to represent in bit plane 5. Similarly, 4, 3, 2, 1 and last 
zero. So if you want, we can check for bit plane zero, last one. So this is bit plane zero. We have all ones. So we have all ones. In this column, bit plane zero, we have zero zero one. So we have zero zero one. And the last one is zero one one. So we have all zero one one. So like this, first the given value should be represented in the form of binary. And that binary value should be represented in terms of 8 bits. So from that 8 bits, we have to consider each column and we have to write in individual bit planes. So this is how we have to solve the problem related to bit planes. And like this, we have to represent all the bit planes from 0 to 7. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.